a timely new report released by a Harvard University based group called Making Caring Common, which urges parents and high schools to put ethical character at the center of the college admissions process. All these things that parents are doing to get into the selective college isn't in the end going to make their kids happier. What's going to make their kids happier is if they end up in colleges where they're likely to really be engaged and fit and thrive. The report focuses in part on how middle and upper income families prioritize achievement over a child's character. Parents think they're, they're communicating this message that what's most important is that you're a good person. But what kids are hearing is achievement, achievement, achievement. The Harvard report also emphasizes the small number of kids who actually get into elite universities, saying the biggest problem in college admissions is that huge numbers of young people, especially low income and first generation students, struggle to access or simply can't afford college or land in colleges that aren't committed to their success. It's really hard to know where you want to go and how you're going to get there if you don't have you know, people around you, surrounding you, are guiding you in a sense to tell you how to do that. High school juniors Vincent Waugh and Nicholas Burgess represent the kids who are just trying to make it into college. I personally can't afford the SAT tutor or that classes, and the SAT is like $50, and most people can't afford the $50. I was able to get a laptop this year, but prior to that, I didn't have a laptop, and I wasn't, I wasn't able to, like, get any of my schoolwork done. Both students credit their success to the EVAC movement, an organization aiming to help young black men in their area. Now, Nicholas and Vince have their sights set on Florida State University, where if accepted, they would be the first in their family to attend college.